Are you a beginner crafter trying to learn how to emboss? Then this is the video for you. In this video, I will show you how to emboss and show you some powerful embossing tips and tricks coming right up. Now, before we get started, you may be asking yourself the question, what is embossing? Embossing is the process of creating a 3D image on a surface. Embossing is very diverse in its application to crafting. There are many different ways to emboss and there are many different applications for embossing. Also, embossing powder comes in many different colors. It involves two main methods, powder embossing and stencil embossing. However, the main focus of this video will be powder embossing. For this, the materials you will need are stamp block, watermark ink, anti-static bag, embossing heat tool, embossing powder, and of course, the rubber stamp. I will be linking all of these down below, so if you want to follow along, definitely click the links down below if you'd like to purchase these items. Now, let's get on to the part of the video when we learn how to emboss. Before we get started with the embossing, one of the most important things to keep in mind is to prep your card base. But why? The reason is that natural oils can easily transfer to your card and stick to places that you don't want. You can easily achieve this with the anti-static bag. We'll be lightly dusting this onto the card base. After prepping your card base with the anti-static bag, we will then press our stamps into the stamp pad. Remember, when you have a smaller stamp block, it's good to use a rocking motion to help get all the ink onto the stamp but if you have a larger stamping press, then that also works as well. After doing this, we will move back to our cardstock and stamp the image with medium to hard pressure. And this is how it looks after it's been stamped. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. The next thing to do is to heat up the embossing powder with our embossing heat tool. When you're trying to emboss, however, there is a right way and a wrong way to do it. So as you can see, I've added the zing embossing powder over here, but I kind of messed up a little bit. It's easy to think that the way to emboss is to just hold it up and use the embossing heat gun, but that is wrong. Instead, the stamp block or any other heat resistant surface to hold down your paper as you heat up your embossing powder. After the embossing powder melts, now you have a raised image. And this is how it looks if you use clear embossing powder and emboss it. Moving on to the next type of embossing, which is stencil embossing. Now, this type of embossing is a lot easier than the other one because it only involves paper and a stencil. So I actually purchased the stencil embosser quite a while back in 2012. And I'll try to link down a similar tool down below, so definitely check it out. So here I have my embosser and my paper. And basically, I'm going to feed it into the embosser and start to turn the knob. Now, this is only one way to do the stencil embossing, and I've also seen people use Sizzix, but here's the method that I find the easiest for stencil embossing. And as you can see, we've created a nice, crisp texture onto our cardstock that we can use as a background for our cards. I also thought I'd include a bonus type of embossing called pen embossing. This is very popular in the calligraphy niche, but it can be applied to any arts and crafts and on a lot of surfaces. There are several embossing pens on the market, but here are a few that you can purchase using the links down below. I do not personally pen emboss, but I thought I'd include a small clip of another person's tutorial right here. As you can see, the crafter in this video writes out her sentiment with the embossing pen, and then she goes in and adds the embossing powder and then heats it with her embossing heat tool. And if you'd like me to try out this method in a future card making video, definitely comment down below as I find this method very interesting and I would love to try it out. As you can see, embossing is a multifaceted way to spruce up your arts and crafts projects. There are so many different applications and so many different ways to do it. Let me know which one you're going to try in the comments down below. If you like this video and like to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe as this is the third of several crafting and card making videos. I'll be linking the first two videos above, so definitely check it out. And until next time, goodbye!